Hello YouTube. So as many of you probably know, recently Comex released jailbreakme.com 3.0, which is a jailbreak for most notably the iPad 2 on 4.3.3, as well as all of the devices. It's a tether it's an untethered jailbreak that takes place directly on the device and it's one of the easiest jailbreaks of all time. But what I want to talk about today is iOS 4.3.4. So just today, Apple released iOS 4.3.4, and it has been confirmed that it patches uh, the exploit used by Com Comex in jailbreakme.com. So I would not. So you, if you rely on the jailbreak, do not update to this, obviously. But you can go and check out this article down in the description uh, for all the download links, and just be safe and back up your SHSH blobs. So hopefully, we'll see a jailbreak that for this in the future, which is one another thing I want to talk about. Uh, currently, the jailbreak that we have right now is a uses a hardware exploit, meaning that any device that is vulnerable once will always be vulnerable to at least a tethered jailbreak. Now, we don't know the status of Ionic's untether. Hopefully, it will work for iOS 4.3.4, and we're all going to be looking forward to that. But we'll see in the coming days whether or not this works. And this is all speculation. Uh, but Muscle Nerd will probably tweet out a link to a tether to a version of Red Snow that tether jailbreaks uh, iOS 4.3.4 just because like I said we'll always see at least a tether jailbreak for the current devices until the hardware gets a major update. So I just wanted to update you guys on that, warn you not to update to 4.3.4 and make sure to back up your SHSH blobs if you ever want to downgrade from 4.3.4 to an earlier version. And obviously, if you rely on an unlock, stay away from this too, because I believe it may or may not update your baseband. But yeah, just a quick update to give to you guys. That's all we have for now. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.